Hello, and welcome to the shop for the November shop tour. As I'm recording this, it is November 18th. A little late, sorry I've been a bit distracted. Um, the project that was taking up much of the shop for the past few shop tours, the bench, is done. 100% done. It is installed, it's painted, it's finished. What you're seeing there on the table saw is a little bit of, uh, of the good plywood that I couldn't bear to throw out when I was done with the project, so I gotta find a place to put that. Um, but I threw out much of the scraps because they were just taking up too much space. But to get to the tour proper, as we stand here, um, the normal mess of things here in the corner, that's all finishing stuff that needs to go up in the attic, uh, my hammer drill, my dad's demolition hammer, and the concrete step behind it that they're waiting to destroy. Uh, here's the bandsaw. I love it more every time I use it, though I am an idiot. Because you see back here, this fancy handle that detensions the blade. And uh, when I started using that, I was lazy and made this magnetic warning sign. But it fits above the switch instead of over the switch. And I knew I needed to rework it so it was over the switch and I couldn't turn the switch on, but I had not gotten around to that. So what did I do the other day? I needed to rip a small piece of plywood uh, to act as a furring behind some sheetrock I'm working on in the house. And since the saw, the table saw that is, is buried under these items, I figured why not use the bandsaw? So I turned the bandsaw on the blade immediately came off the wheel and caught itself on the aluminum plate here. Sorry, that's not focusing properly. But that is a, a wood slicer, which I've been very pleased with. This is my first wood slicer blade and it's been working fantastic. Uh, but this one, <laughs> this is a $35 piece of garbage now that I've messed up the teeth. So, there's that. The saw here, again, is covered in materials and tools. So we come around. In terms of shop improvement, this bucket here is the next thing to go. It's filled with clamps, and I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go. There are F clamps hanging on the top, but there's all different si styles of clamps in what I call it a bucket. It's actually a big garbage pill. Um, I'm not sure where that's going to go, but I need the floor space, so all those things need to go. Coming around here is my curly maple glue up. This big panel is going to be the sides of Jason's bar top arcade. Now it's um, it's been a long project in the making. I got all the materials from him in mid August, early August, and I immediately glued up this panel and then started working on the bench seat. So now the bench seat's done. I have some work I'm doing inside the house for some lights for the kitchen because the kitchen hasn't had lights since late August, but I was working on the bench instead. So as soon as the kitchen has lights, this is going to go full-time, and even now I'm starting to work on it again part-time, so we should see some progress on what I'm hoping to be is a beautiful bar top arcade. Coming around here, the variety of sanders. No new things there. This is a panel on the bench that's been here forever, and I've been fighting with the shellac finish on it, I've got it just about ready to go now, so you can see the rattle can of lacquer right there. Come Saturday, I'm going to hit it with a couple coats of lacquer, and it will be done, and that'll be another project out the door. Coming around, not all that much going on here. The joiner still needs to be reworked so it'll slide underneath the wing of the miter saw there. Got a couple of tools sitting on the miter saw. There is some new... I've hung some more items over here. Uh, I believe that's since the last tour. I'm not 100% sure. I've also hung my T-squares up here in a simple rack that holds the T-squares. And uh, that's about it. You can see the misplaced main fuse panel for the house is behind my dust collector. Thankfully this thing rolls out. It's not very convenient, but I can reach when I have to, and as I'm doing electrical work in the house, that's why that's open. And come around here to the dust collector, 
and the planer. Not all that much going on with them. Uh, they continue to work great. Here is my Benchmate collapsible table, which every time I post a picture of me working on this thing, I get questions about it. Benchmark. It's not Benchmate, it's Benchmark. Uh, it's a great, great folding table. It folds to this size, which for my shop is a little too big to leave folded in the shop. I think now that it's November, it's going to get thrown up in the attic for the winter. Um, but I'm not aware of a collapsible table which is bigger, stronger, stiffer, has more utility. I know people will say, what about the MFT? I've never touched an MFT that didn't wiggle. This does not wiggle. When you fold the legs out and adjust the feet, it is rock solid. It's also a nice big top. There are things the MFT does that it doesn't do because the MFT has a solid top and this doesn't. But since I have a table saw and a workbench, I don't see the need for an MFT and I do see the need for this thing. So there is the November tour. Hopefully, uh, come December, we'll see lots more progress on Jason's Arcade.